Today, OpenAI released their newest APIs called Responses API with built-in tools functions for web search, file search, and computer use, along with the open source agents SDK. With the agentic AI infrastructure are getting standardized and vastly improved, more companies are rewriting their code base to replace their legacy architecture, this time including OpenAI. And I'm almost certain the Responses API is going to replace the existing Chat Completions API. The Agents SDK, on the other hand, is going to be an OpenAI's agentic AI framework competing with Crew AI, Pydantic AI, Langchain, and Autogen. In this video, I will go over how to use the Responses API, and as well as go over some of the changes and new tools. I will cover how to use the Agent SDK in a separate video since there are many things to cover using the Agent SDK. Now, first, make sure you have the latest OpenAI Python library installed. Let's look at the code here. From the OpenAI class, we now have a max retries parameter to set the number of times for a function call if it fails. And for the responses endpoint, the biggest difference here is instead of providing a list of messages, we can directly type our request in the input parameter as a single string. Most of the new parameters are designed to be used with the agent's SDK. In the past, when we need to set the system prompt or system message, we have to include it in a message list. Now we can directly type the system prompt in the instructions parameter. To use the built-in tools in the tools parameter, use a list to specify the tools you want to use. I only tried the web search and file search tools and they worked quite well. I couldn't get the computer use tool to work properly. I think maybe because I am on a Windows PC. When you use the responses API, your message is automatically logged in OpenAI's dashboard and the default is set to true. If you don't want to save the log in OpenAI's dashboard, set the store parameter to false. And the user parameter sets the unique identifier representing the end user, which helps with monitoring and detect any unusual activities. Reasoning is solely used with reasoning models like O1, O3, O1 mini. With the reasoning setting, you can set the effort to low, medium, and high. If you set the reasoning effort to low, the model will focus on speed and go easy on the token usage when generating a response with reasoning. In contrast, when you set the reasoning to high, the model will take much longer to generate a response and use far more token usage, but the detail of the response will be more polished and accurate. And that covers pretty much all the changes. Now if we run the script from the response object, we can print the output using the output text attribute. If we go into OpenAI's dashboard in the logs page, the message logs will be stored in the responses panel. The log setting needs to be enabled first for the completions API. I think one of the main reasons is OpenAI is aggressively trying to collect data for training future models. I'm just guessing here. Now let's see how to use the new file search tool feature. In the dashboard, navigate to storage and create a vector store. This is essentially the same thing as a rag database. But with the file search feature, it is now more integrated with OpenAI's API. Once you create a vector store, you can upload the knowledge files. You can think of a vector store as a database table, and files are just records. But instead of records, we are dealing file contents. For demonstration, I uploaded two property listing information from Zillow. To use the file search tool in the tools parameter, set the tool type as file search and provide the vector store IDs. Now, whenever when we send a request, 
the model is going to check the vector database first for additional context. For the last example, I'm going to show you how to manage a conversation state. If we look at the code here, you will notice that instead of using a list of messages to track the message history, we now track the response ID instead and use the previous response ID parameter to manage conversation state. The responses infrastructure makes it a bit easier to manage conversation state automatically. So we no longer need to pass inputs manually with each turn of a conversation. If we run the script, this is basically the new way to create an agent conversation using OpenAI's API. All right, that's all for this video. I hope you find this video useful and stay tuned for the Asian SDK walkthrough. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe. Happy coding, see you in the next one.